All right, well, in this step, we're going to address contrast issues. And you notice we have our main image here. I'm going to leave this unflattened for the time being, but we will be looking at it again in a flattened version. So let's go over here and look at this version called contrast, which has been flattened. I'm going to zoom in to the trees here. And on an overcast day, you generally have less than perfect contrast. If I look at the individual channels, I want you to look at the blue channel and then the green channel. I think you would agree that the green channel has much more depth or dimension. Now look at the green channel and compare that to the red channel. The red has the most depth and dimension. Now there are some people that believe that's because we have twice as many red rods and cones in our eyes and there are other people that may, may be because we have red blood. I personally think it's because red is the uh, longest wavelength of light. It has the most energy and therefore it takes twice as many rods and cones to capture that light. Now, what we're going to do is in the blue channel we're going to steal some of the red channels contrast. We're going to go to image, apply image. We're going to start on the blue channel to that, we're going to apply the red channel in lighten mode. That means anything in the red channel that's lighter than the blue channel, it will replace the blue channel. Anything that's darker will be left unchanged. Now, if I did this at 100%, it'd look very artificial because red should be more than green, and green should be more than blue, but they should be much closer to each other than what they really are right now to give it more depth. So I'm going to click right on the name opacity here and use the scrubby feature. We're going to scrub this back to around 65 or so percent. And I think you would agree that here is before, here's after, by adding the red channel to the blue channel in lightened mode, we're getting much more depth and dimension. Now let's do the same thing with the green channel. We're going to go to the green channel, image, apply image we're going to apply the red channel again in lightened mode now remember red should be more than green and green should be more than blue so we're gonna pull this back to around 70 or 75 percent somewhere around there every image is gonna be a little different so it's kinda of trial and error and we're gonna click OK now you'll notice we've got the red channel with the most then green and then blue now consequently if you were to equalize red green and blue that would be the exact same thing as using the desaturate command. Well, look what this did to our color. It really lowered the color saturation. But that's okay because what we want from this image is the contrast. We're going to go up here to our layer panel. I'm going to drag this layer over. Click on it. Hold down the shift key as we did before. Let go of the shift key after we let go of the mouse. Now you'll notice that again they're centered right on top of each other. We're going to rename this layer contrast. Right now we're seeing this layer in normal mode. Well, we'd like to see just the contrast not the contrast and the color so we're going to click on the normal mode and drag down to luminosity. Look what that does to our trees. Here's before, here is after. Pretty amazing, huh? By choosing luminosity mode, if we find that the contrast is too great, we always have the option of lowering the opacity of that contrast layer. And because we have added to the image, instead of subtracting, we're not destructing, we're actually constructing. That's going to be step number 